Hey guys, Ty over at AL in Jackson, Tennessee. Finally can get my sunshades out because the sun's out and it's warming up finally. It was really cold this morning, hence the jacket. But it's now where I can get out and look at this, which is the 2024 Wildwood 161 QK. Now, QK, queen, I do know that. We're looking at roughly a queen size mattress in the back of this. You're going to have a separated back bedroom, which is really what this one's all about, in a single axle at only about 24 feet. Now, on this particular one, weight is not very much either when we're talking about it. So that is something for those with an SUV or a lighter weight truck, smaller overall, but definitely need to check out. So we're going to dive in and see what's inside and out and go from there. Okay, so our 161 QK from Wildwood, again, that's FSX, so it is not heated and closed underneath, but you do have a whole lot of extra things for those that want to get out and use a camper to actually camp. You can already tell the aesthetics have really changed from this last year, too. Going to be some big, big changes. And we'll start right at the front, 20 pound propane tank. If you want to swap out for a double, all that is is a slight change at the front. Same thing with your manual jack here if you want to go electric. Service departments can and should be able to take care of that without a whole lot of problem. We do have a better disconnect at the front and we're using manual jacks on this one because we don't want to add extra weight and cost to a unit like this. That doesn't make sense. So a three quarter socket on that manual stabilization jack here on the corner is all you really need. We are metal exterior, so it's not a smooth wall, but even then, I see a change in how that corrugated metal is coming down. I'm not seeing a 3-4 with a step. This looks to be more consistent. We have tinted windows this year and that very nice glass door. And that glass door has less opportunity to kind of warp, so it's easier to shut. Weighs a little bit more, makes it easier to shut. We have magnetic holdbacks this year on our doors. So let's just click in place and then check it out. Cast iron griddle already in place. Easy to use. Just roll it back out of the way, right? Additional solar if you want to tie into that Zamp. We do have a shower, hot cold on the side next to the furnace. 110 outlet here. Look how large our windows are for the ones that are shown. And the awning has a really good coverage for the length of that camper too, because look how big that back window is. Additional storage because this is gonna be beneath the bed that's at the back, and it's decent. And that's accessible inside and out both. Actual bumper this year, spare tire's still there. Now with Forest River, they've gotten rid of pretty much all the ladders that would normally be in this area. Instead, that connector there, you can buy a telescoping ladder that connects. Check out Amazon for that. And then to our roadside, additional windows, cable inlet, and they've been going and getting water out of the water heater so that is why that is open but that is tankless people 30 amp check out how they've separated the colors for our city water and black flush tank just to make sure you don't mix those up and then our sewer connections are at the bottom additional storage on our roadside it is not too shabby considering our griddles taking up the other side Let's get in this thing. All right, so our 161 QK step up is a fold down style. Makes it easier when you travel and with it being a single axle, not too bad. Dinette right at the right when we first come in and all of our controls are to the left. This one's wired for solar. Solar's not pre-installed. So just throwing that out there. They do include a Bluetooth speaker that is on a cradle to charge it. So no exterior speakers. Really big dinette here. The cool thing they've done this year 
is the way that this is set up. You have control to be able to move this around and get it out of the way without having to disassemble the entire thing. So if you want to sit with a little bit more leg room and then you can still make it down into a chase or bedding. Kitchen, I always felt like they did a pretty good job with these 161s, 163 and 169 because the kitchens all match. Two burner stove. This year they've gone and changed the aesthetics here a little bit with our pullouts, but full extension. Decent amount of space underneath that you can access. There's our coverlet for our sink. Good, huge sink. Our controls for our AC as well as the on-demand are going to be tucked in the back because our AC is now ducted. So not just a single point of forced air. Now your fridge is a pretty large 12 volt. You can see how tall it goes up to. And then this one would be the one you can't open from either side. Mid bath with your shower directly to the left. Skylight above. I'm not saying this is a big camper, but definitely ample space overall. Even for someone a little bit taller than me at 5, 10, almost 11. Now you see they did barn sliding doors for this year. In the past, that door was actually hinged. That created a little bit of an issue, being able to get in and out. Now we have a privacy curtain to separate the bath as well. Just a little bit of extra something I'm sure they've heard from their customers. We do have a medicine cabinet and space for linens. You see that first duct there from the AC. And then our second doorway leads into our bedroom. This is not a Versatilt like they're doing in some of the others, but considering the available space, I think they've done a really good job positioning this dead center. Look how big those windows are though. Is that not insane? Just spend your time at the back. Pile up pillows and call it a day. Additional vent in the back. All these are puck lights. We do have a setup for TV. You do have a pretty good amount of hanging space here too. And then above the bed, remember that access will be under the bed for storage as well. And if you really wanted to, you could find a shorter mattress to give you a little bit more leg space overall. But there we go. Not a big camper, but laid out very, very well for those that want to separate a bedroom without getting into a bigger camper. So back bedroom separated, mid bath, full kitchen. Good size fridge, that nice dinette at the front, and we're ducted AC this year. The other thing that I'm going to show you as I go out this door is this exterior door. Listen to this. That's as hard as it is to open and close these. The glass doors have really grown on me. I'm appreciative now of these. Some people are worried about how they're going to fare when they go down the road, but other brands have been using these for years. No issue, okay? You'll even see this in some of the Montana high countries as well. Just another way that they can add a little bit more value and make things a little easier for you as the user. So a lot of little things on this camper that build up into being a pretty big package. I was impressed with the 169 last year and they've updated it and now the 161 and 163 I'm seeing that are a similar layout, at least for the front half, pretty impressive. When I was looking for my first camper, and I wanted something small for me and my wife. This would have been an easy option for me to have gotten into besides the one I ended up in. So, curious to know what you guys think about that as we walk through it. What you would change, what you <laughs> didn't like. Give me a comment, give me a like. Obviously a subscribe. That way I can keep doing more of this kind of stuff for you. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.